Why build anything? Why make it better? Smarter? Faster? Hell, why even try and make the impossible? Because there's never been a more exciting time to be alive. To imagine, to create, to change things, to build better objects, better ideas, better businesses, better lives, even a better world. Yesterday's science fiction is today's innovation and tomorrow's way of life. Converting digital bits into atoms and atoms back into bits is now a click of a button. And here we are at Imaginarium, bringing this next industrial revolution to the desk of every inventor, designer, tinkerer, and artist. There are only a few technologies that change the way the world runs. Every single day, in every single way, we are reimagining the world and its businesses. We are collaborating with them to achieve their greatness. Just in a matter of hours, you can have your imagination, your dreams, your blueprints right in your hands. Because we believe the world's best ideas need its best builders. Imaginarium is the oxygen that brings these ideas to life. And with every idea, we make one less thing impossible. We are where the best in 3D printing meets the best in human imagination. What we are making, you can't make any other way. What we are doing, you can't do anywhere else. Our work is our signature and it is traveling across the world. We are Imaginarium, building awesome stuff that matters at India's largest 3D printing company. So to talk to you about their journey into the future of, of making things, let me invite on stage Guru Prasad Rao and Dr. Vijay Shetty. So, over to you, sir. Good to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Yeah, you, you need this? Because all yours. Thank you. Thank you. So I'll just pay. You want to sit here? Yeah, you can pay. Okay. Uh, I should say, creative. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it has been a wonderful uh, session in the morning. Uh, we uh, heard more about uh, collaborative design. Uh, here we present at another case study where we could uh, uh, do a collaborative design uh, using a multidisciplinary team. I introduce uh, uh, Dr. Vijay Shetty. Hello. He is a three times uh, Limca Book of Records holder, orthopedician, expert knee uh, surgeon. And uh, he had problems. And uh, when he came to Imaginium, we thought of uh, working on a project. And uh, that's where we formed a small uh, team work. And uh, when I discussed with uh, designers from Autodesk, they said, why don't we use uh, Fusion 360? And what you see in the coming slides are a manifestation of that excellent teamwork, which resulted in a creation, a co-creation, which is really wonderful. Uh, today, India is inching towards uh, 1.28 billion toward the year end. You may not believe a staggering 20 million people get fractured every year, of which the upper and lower limb uh, will constitute almost 50 percent. That means about 10 million uh, people get fractured. Uh, today, we are going to discuss about how so-called uh, you know, uh, normal cast, which is used as a solution for uh, orthopedic uh, defects, fractures, yeah. was thought of in a different way by having a digital tool. How do we control it? Sorry. Okay. Okay. Got it. Sorry. So I hand it over to uh, Dr. Vijay. I'll be very brief. Um, Traditionally, I'm an orthopedic surgeon, uh, and uh, fracture treatment is part of our job. 
Uh, when you see an undisplaced fracture, which means the fracture is not displaced and it's all in one place but there is a break, the traditional treatment is the use of a plaster. And if you see uh, patients walking around, it's usually a plaster of Paris, but things have changed now. We have light plasters available. There are a lot of problems with these plasters. As you can imagine, uh, one cannot, for a start, take shower. Okay, you cannot be clean. And obviously, it can get wet and it may not stay in place and so many things happen with these plasters. So, when I met Dr. Mr. Rob, I asked him whether it's possible for them to develop a plaster which can be light, which, can, which patient can wear by himself, and whether they can take shower and use the hand. He said it's possible. So, I visited their... Uh, uh, facility in uh, Andheri and I was very impressed. So there we have, I think he's going to start off with uh, the yeah. next uh, Thank uh, you, doctor. study. Yes. So this gave uh, a problem statement. How can we come out with a solution which can uh, be digitally designed and can give an alternative to existing? Today morning we have been uh, thinking of how future of making is going to transform uh, by the digital tools. So, uh, we have a lot of solutions. It can be 3D scanning, it can be CT scan, it can be MRI, it can be uh, digital inspection, all those things. We have 3D printing is another way of uh, designing and making it happen. You have idea which are externalized and you can hold the ideas in hand. You know, that's what makes uh, uh, 3D printing so wonderful tool. And uh, we have uh, a different kind of uh, workflow for this. What we did was uh, x-ray diagnosis is anyway part of the regular uh, uh, course of uh, uh, process and what we did was scanning the fractured uh, hand, limb and then extraction of the surface data and then we went about actually recreating it using Fusion 360. It gave so much of freedom to manipulate the digital data and design. Many times we think what is in our head, we want to bring it out. Will the tools help us? May not be, always. But I think we are quite satisfied this was a possibility in this project. And uh, as we move on, we could see uh, the subject was uh, scanned and we have... Uh, uh, this is the collaborative environment we can see here, you know. All the uh, team members, Sanjeev Ghosh, I think he's here, and uh, we have Veera Pandian, and then Anand, then we have Pankaj and Sagar Parikh, my colleague from Imaginarium. We all could actually collaborate. In fact, uh, Pandian was in Delhi, and uh, Sanjay Ghosh was in uh, Pune office, and we were sitting in MIDC, Bombay, and uh, we could actually discuss over this wonderful tool, what you see here, and uh, in the coming slides, what you see is the co-creation that happened, uh, which led to the handcast uh, creation through digital means. You can see some of these slides show vividly how it was all made possible. Now we could actually go to very close to anatomical requirements, make it very accurate, and uh, finally make this a reality. These are some of the digital renderings. In, even before we made it by 3D printing, we could actually uh, get an idea of how it looks, uh, you know, very real it is. And uh, I think uh, now doctor will uh, 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 explain about how the digital casting and the plastic casting uh, can be compared and your comments, doctor. Really, according to me, there is no comparison. There's only one thing about this, is the cost. Otherwise, in all aspects, I think this is probably the best that a doctor can offer his patient. Um, but really speaking, there's one problem about this, if you ask me, is we cannot do this on day one, when the patient comes to you with fracture. So we'll have to wait for 24 to 48 hours. That's, that's one downside. Otherwise, I think I love it. I think uh, innovators here will have a lot of uh, food for thought 
how we can actually make it happen quickly. And I think uh, today uh, we could get the digital data as a STL, and it was digitally printed, you know, using SLA, SLS technique at Imaginarium. And uh, what you see here are the parts made. They were made into two halves. They are locks which will secure to hand. And uh, it is, uh, you can see the, how it is assembled. And in fact, we have Dr. Karan, who is going to be our model, who is going to walk on the ramp. Dr. Karan, please. Come. Bless him, he's not fractured his uh, forearm, so this is just for <laughs> presentation. So, you can see the style with which Dr. Uh, Karan is walking on the stage. It becomes a kind of you know, fashion statement. Just to have a hand plastered, one has to hide it, you know, with a shawl or something. Just, uh, Today, here we have a design which can be proudly shown. Maybe I'm sure people will break their limbs one day to have this. You know, please don't. <laughs> and so, the, the other thing is, uh, you know, the skin can breathe. That's the beauty of it. Uh, which correct. Makes it skin uh, this is a lot lighter good. and uh, the skin can breathe and it is washable. And uh, uh, what else? Uh, I think uh, it is also recyclable, very important yes. for uh, future. You know, uh, we have to take, the, take care of the earth. Uh, recyclable is very important. And uh, it is biocompatible material, and uh, we can do it overnight, 24 hours. I think uh, it is really uh, a very good uh, uh, collaborative effort. Uh, it had a multidisciplinary team, doctors, experts, engineers, designers, design team from Autodesk. Perfect. I think uh, in the audience, you have Autodesk team. Thank you, Autodesk, uh, for helping making this a possibility. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Okay, thank you, sir. It's, that was brilliant. I mean, you know, the, we think these things, you can't do these here, and you, you apply that to a very real-world problem and solve it in a very, you know, very Indian way, and, you know, this is fantastic to, to, thank to you. watch you guys. Yeah. So thank you Thanks so much for, for coming up here, and Doctor, nice you know, your... Uh, the fact that you validated what we're talking, this is not just some stuff that we're dreaming up to sell stuff. This is real stuff that you, yeah, that you think can help your patients improve their lives. So thank you so much for, thank for, you. for, for sharing the stage with us. Just a short token of our appreciation. First one to you, sir. Thank you. And to you, sir. Thank you so much. Delighted to have you.